I would recommend that you inventory the problems that you solve. So it would be a good idea for you to kind of say to yourself, wow, what problems do we solve? And when you have a, a list of 10 to 20, and you then develop your 30 second commercials, and you want to pluck out three, where are you going to pluck out the three? Where are you going to get the three that this person you're talking to cares about the most? Where are you going to go? The inventory. You're going to go, oh, out of my list of problems that we solve, these three appeal to that person the most. And these other three relate to that person the most. And these other three relate to this other person. Therefore, you always kind of, we call that solution sets. You're always matching your solution sets to what people care about and what people will pay you for. People care about problems. They may not be the kind of problems that are immediately obvious. Some of those problems are pain in the ass problems. Like, I want to have uh, a provider that makes my life easier because my problem is all the providers I'm currently dealing with don't make my life easy. That's a problem. Everyone thinks they have to develop problems related to their products and services. And what I'm suggesting is you also develop problems related with people, your competitors, that the buyers you're selling to deal with in the area of how easy it is to do business with you. And what are the problems associated with doing business with you? I'll give you examples. Uh, many times we work with professional firms like accounting firms, law firms, <laughs> staffing firms. You're a professional services organization. Aside from people uh, appreciating good candidates, aside from people having problems relating to not being able to get qualified personnel to interview, aside from that, they also have problems related to the way you do business. Like, do you pick up the phone when someone calls? Do you get back to people within 24 hours? Do you relate to people in a professional, direct, value-added manner? Because many of your competition don't. And because many of your competition don't, you actually stick out when you come across as professional, you answer on time, you get back to people, you cover their, you know, you, you, you're there for them when, when there are problems. And sometimes that's not immediately obvious. And so when we talk about problems, we're not just talking about solving problems related to your products and services. I'm suggesting you look at problems related to the manner in which products and services are delivered to your, um, to your clients and your customers. And I'll end this by saying the following. Your products and services are worthless. I want, that, I want that to sink. My products and services are worthless in of themselves. The value, there's no value there. Uh, I'm a sales trainer, right? Where are my products and services? Well, PowerPoint, noise coming out of my mouth, I'm speaking, you're listening, hopefully. And um, that in of itself is not valuable. What's valuable is what you do with the knowledge. What's valuable is what you do with the information. Same thing with you. What's valuable is what you are clients, customers do with the services you provide. If all you ever talk about are your services and you talk about the features and the benefits and the components of your services, you might be missing out on a world of other things that matter. And the world of other things that matter is how they use your products and services to improve their businesses. And so IBM used to use an old expression, which I love today, it's been around for years. And that is never sell to your customer, sell to your customer's customer. Figure out by selling to your customer what it is you're providing is going to make them sell to their customer more effectively. What it is you provide allows them to be more successful in their business. Um, so we just started this little thing as a way of warming up to um, allow you to start thinking about being problem solvers as opposed to salespeople.